Test, 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 test. And we are live, hopefully. Uh, I've got to do the usual audio check. Just realised my uh, countdown stopped several seconds from uh, before that, so uh, I have. Um, is that coming through? Hello, 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 hello. We started five minutes earlier today because why not? Why not? Well, look, we're look, we're random. Wasn't suspecting that. Um, everyone's saying no, what happened? What happened? I just realised because my stream's 30 seconds behind, I was looking at my YouTube stream uh, rather than uh, the Streamlabs OBS. So... Um, Hopefully the picture quality is coming through okay. If people could let me know. We have, um, as I say, a slightly new setup today. I've got some new cameras in. I've uh, got a new computer, but the cameras, I haven't got... Um, well, these are cameras I've had already, so they need upgrading. But we've got um, this view. We also now have the yard view, which needs, um, what you call it, uh, an update. We've also got the desk cam, so we can get on with some stuff on here. And we also have the face cam. I still need to sort out some of the graphics on that, but we'll come back to that for now. We've also got some hotkeys. If I press this one, uh, in theory, that should enter something into... Yeah, okay, that works. I'm just going to check they all work, by the way, guys, so just ignore the chat for a second. Um, is that one... I'm using my little... Um, actually, I, actually, I can show you, because I can do desk cam, and then I can... And then if I press that one, that should be the eBay link. And then if I press... That one, that should be members link. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Let's go back to uh, bridge cam. Look at this, eh? The cameras aren't fixed in position yet because um, I haven't decided if that's, that's going to be their final home. I kind of just put them all up um, to uh, see how they looked. Is the camera quality and everything still coming through okay? I, do work, I don't want it to... Uh, hopefully it's all... Uh, all gravy. And um, we'll get along... We'll get on with some of the hellos. Let's expand that. Right, okay, I can see... See things clearly now. Right, so we're going to scroll. We're going to do what we normally do. Scroll up from somewhere. And go from there. So we've got courses more in the house. Got Anthony, Slow Line, Train Spotting, Cameron, Mike, good evening, Digger, good evening, Colin, Pete, and Fred, good evening. All three channel members in the road said something there. Tim JD, good evening, Carl, good evening, uh, David Cook, uh, Tim from Island Scenics, good evening, uh, Colin, good evening, Flymo, Matty P. Um, I'll, I'll have to chat. Why is that? I don't know. What's with YouTube recently? Um, YouTube's just been. Uh, the chat just keeps jumping on I don't know what what's wrong with I don't know. The train freak, good evening. Um hello to Colin. Model Railway RC, Model Railways RC cars, good evening. Paul Bottrill, good evening. Oh, pardon me. Uh Evan Terry, good evening. Mr. Mr. That name always confused me because I always read it Mr. Mr. Hello, just ordered class twenty to convert to DRS. Did have a DRS class twenty, but I left that era. I left that era behind me. So, for those who've just joined, we've already got 33, which is really good. It's only just turning 7 o'clock. Um, we've got the bridge cam. We've also got the yard cam, which is obviously... Uh, this is a new track plan as well, by the way, on this side, uh, which we'll see in a future uh, a future video. And there's actually um, an inspection pit at the very end there, uh, ahead of the 9F. So, that camera quality needs improving, so I need to get... A new one there. You can also see a bit of the scrapyard on the left with the lights on. 
a desk cam and a face cam only but I need to sort out some of the graphics below here and <laughs> there so hopefully if everyone can just give me like a, a five times five um, let me know that that's all running super smoothly and we'll get on with tonight's show I've spent all of today getting this computer and also you shouldn't be able to hear the computer in the background either because this thing is silent like, even I can't, well I can't hear it either, so you guys are not, you'll probably only be able to hear the trains going around before the computer sounded like it was taken off but this one absolutely brilliant So running today as well, we have the Class 25, uh, the Backman Class 25 and the Hornby J15. Um, the chat's 30 seconds behind for me, so I'm just gonna see, make sure it's all coming through uh, clearly for everybody. So I can just get a quick confirmation. Hello Lee, I'm from Roadland in the Loft. Hello Anthony, I'm sure I said hello to you. Apologies if I didn't, I've got a memory of a fish. Good evening, Steve Harper. So now, as the J, if we go into there, we can see the five. That's not a bad little view, actually. That if I can get the scenic stuff sorted on the right hand side of it there, uh, which is again coming up in the next video, and you'll also see in the very back of that, there's now a polystyrene hillside forming, um, and more information to come on that uh, in the next video. And it's actually going over a viaduct there as well. So loads and loads of um, scenic stuff. Um. <laughs> Just seen David's Cosmos message. Um. Oi oi Savaloy, Theon's model railways, good evening. Cosmos says, why isn't the stream? Uh, I'm in credit here. Sorry Cosmos, I'll try to uh, get some content out there for you at some point. Good evening Norman, I hope you're doing well. We've got 41 in the chat already. Uh. Sorry to hello. Sorry to hello. I really can't speak. I'm literally sat here ready to go. Press stream and then I lose the ability to talk. Um, I do want to get one more camera as well, which is the station camera, so you, I can do like a rail cam, sat in the station type thing. But at the moment, I don't know how well you can see it. Oh, there's no point moving now. There's no trains there. King Ori, welcome back. Oh, you're gonna get a shot of both of them coming in now. As you can see in that uh, yard as well, we've also got the J94, which everyone very kindly donated towards, and that's fitted with a Stay Alive. Uh, runs really nicely actually now, So, but that's just parked up behind the Panio, the 9F, and uh, in front of the 08, so. You'll also notice, uh, oh, you can't see it too well on this camera, but that J15 at the back's got a guards van which has a decoder in it and it's got uh, directional lights on it as well. It's a really clever piece of kit and it's got a firebox in it as well. Um, but you wouldn't be able to see that on this camera anyway. Again, something you'll see in next week's video. Not next not next week, next whenever's the video. I, don't, I haven't even started filming one for next week. Uh, is that fine scale figures insert? Yes, it is. Um, I now have a discount code as well for fine scale figures, which I just pressed the button and hopefully that should pop into the chat any second. Um, they've very kindly given me a 5% off every single figure that you buy. And, and there's the link, so if you use Water Road at the checkout. Um, so fine scale figures, yes, we are going to be painting some of them up today. They're very kindly sponsored this stream. Uh, you did a little Western video on your live stream. Um, was that to me, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Cameron, the Brides of Van wasn't done by me. It was done by uh, Alan. Alan Thompson, if he's watching. He's done, he does all my locos, but he's a bit busy at the moment. So I've had to um, outsource locos to elsewhere uh, for now. Uh, let's change back to this view. Um, I've also got it so I can uh, hide my face as well if I need to go do something. Look at that, eh? Technology is brilliant. Um, hi Kev, I'm not sure how long I is and wait for the Miss C to request the lift home. No worries Kev, but um, thank you for popping in anyway. Uh, Grim Reese Davis, good evening. Model Tech, hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. 
Uh, ben Ray, hello, it is I. Hello, you, it is. Thank you for tuning in. We've got 53 already, man. All I've done is blabber on. So, one more time, I'm just going to run through the shots that we've got for those who've just joined us, and then we're going to get on with something. Well, first of all, I would like to quickly assemble um, one of these, which is the uh, scale model scenery parish village notice boards. Va parish, parish village notice boards. Try saying that quickly. Um, and I'm going to put one of them on the station. And then we're going to get on with painting a few of these figures. A few of these fine scale figures and possibly giving a couple of them away tonight as well so stay tuned for that also want to give a massive shout out to trackside signs for sending me uh, tons more stuff uh, some of this is to give away as well so again stay tuned but i've got all my station signing sorted out now i've got loads more advertising boards plenty to uh, complete this layout anyway plus some spare dave smith good evening uh, stopping watching Jenny who premiered at the six. Oh, did Jenny premiere at seven as well? Uh, hi, March West Junction TMD. Good evening, Bob Sims. Good evening. Oh, and guys, before I don't want to uh, stir the pot anymore, but before um, yeah, we'll get started on this. But I have uh, my new loco, my new five inch gauge loco was dropped off today. Um, so I currently have it in the garage at the moment um, and this weekend fingers crossed I'm going to be able to get some work done on it and yeah but yes I do have a new 5 inch gauge loco ready for thing, hopefully an absolutely jam packed hot, not, not hot warm summer because when it gets hot it gets a bit unbearable but a warm summer of 5 inch gauge videos um IJ94, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm not getting the notifications because of more. Um, hopefully some of you got the notification. Anyway. Now even that would be telling. I can't I can't uh, I can't give that away just yet unfortunately. Fred, I knew Fred was gonna say something. <laughs> Um, no J94 you can't see if anyone guesses I'm just gonna have to say no uh, Devonian truckers good evening Michael Atkins good evening uh, well injunction just changed my name okay well um welcome any reason for the name change and change I can't speak tonight right let's go on with some painting so the last let me grab the figure I painted last actually let's do that So, what's this desk cam? Actually, maybe if we move, let's, oh, let's move, let's move me up there so you can see the trains coming through. Actually, let me put me there and let me hide the down uh, events. That work a bit better. Actually, let me move. Uh, let me move myself because that's a rectangle. Look at this basic shape. So. Let's move that over there, and let's film me in the corner there. Right, good. So, what have I painted so far? So, Chapa um, Fine Scale Figures, again, let's drop the link, and you can get 5% off. Um, was just for a space hit, right, it's been a short, sweet encounter with Dominoes is here, that always wins. No worries, David, thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. Uh, is that a Dad's Army figure? There is Dad's Army figures uh, at the on the station at the moment. Which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see um, all of them painted. Felix blends to the back scene so seamless. Thank you very much, Anthony. Uh, why would it stir the pot? Dick Digger, because people will start asking, and uh, I can't give away the answer just yet. So, what have I painted out of the figures he sent me so far? Well, I think the first one I went for was this um, drunk or sleeping or homeless, whatever you want to call it. Um, person uh, if I hold it up to that camera you might be able to see him a bit better or not um, the second one I went for was this uh, motorcycle chap come on focus 
No, it doesn't want to play ball. Um, but yes, so I painted the motorcycle chap and that sleepy man there. For that placement with the Tango. I wish they would sponsor me. The amount of stuff I, the amount of these I drink through. Um, these ones I don't care. Those two I actually didn't prime. Normally I, d I do. But I'll be honest, those two I didn't actually prime. I just went straight into uh, painting. Hi Daniels, double O gauge model railways. Um... Yes, Digger. Can't afford steam locos. But the one I wanted to paint tonight, or start painting anyway, uh, was this leaning chap here. So he's going to go into my engine sheds that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, got to run, take care of all. Uh, Ollie and all. Thank you very much, Train Feet, for tuning in. I also see here as well, I don't know where you can see it, I've also got a kitchen roll dispenser now, so I'm going to do so much of the stuff painting. Um, it was just easier to have it dispensed right here. Um, and then, uh, right, hello to anyone I've said. Oh, Tian. <laughs> Hello to everyone I've missed. Right. So painting these, when he sends them to you, he sends them beautifully wrapped in uh, some gift like gift uh, tissue paper, uh, stop them getting damaged. Um, and most of them arrived on their stand still, so that makes life easier to paint. Now I've got a whole selection of Citadel colours, so if you guys want to draw, I'm just going to go for whatever comment I see first. Um, I think we'll start with the shoes and trousers first. Or the trousers at least so if you guys want to drop a color choice in and we will go from there we'll get a paintbrush as well got a couple of paintbrushes here um i did have a new paintbrush seems to have uh, vanished oh got it Red, red, pink. Oh, normal. <laughs> normal. I don't have pink to start with, but we'll we'll go for red. We'll go for red trousers. So, Citadel. I think this is Mephinson red. They come in these. Oh, got to take the seal off. That that probably help. Right there. Could be a way to keep these open. There we go. Evening, John JMC. Hope you're doing well. Ruston. Uh, we can get the Ruston uh, going. Uh, have I got a flatbed? I can put it in the. Uh... I've got the Ruston here. I'll put it on the. I'll put it in front of me for now so you can uh, still enjoy it. I wish Tango was a secret sponsor. Wicked uh, Insanity, good evening, that's a new name. Uh, Lionel Lions 2035, again, hello. A couple of new names in tonight, actually, I hope you're all enjoying. I've literally done nothing in the first 15 minutes. But let's get painting. So, people have said go for red, so what I'm going to do is I'll put the camera on. Uh, hi, I exist now. <laughs> hello, West London Railway, thank you for tuning in. Um, so I'm going to start by painting his legs red, but while we do that, I'll move the camera onto let's put it on the cam, something a bit so you guys can enjoy that. And I'm just going to start painting him up here. So I'm going to go for red trousers. Certainly a certainly a uh, what do you call it? A unique colour, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Right, I'm not going to look for the comment. Look at the comments for a second while I just uh, paint this chap up. These Citydale paints apply really nicely to this uh, sort of plastic resin as well.
red trousers are certainly a um, bright colour choice, guys. There's paint them down there. Up there. Is the stream still running smoothly for you guys? Is it still not lagging too much or anything, is it? Uh... Um, Ollie, you've been tangled, ta tangled. Ollie, I was told Tian wants to build. No, nope, no, engage. Uh, maybe a figure for Michael Portillo. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a Batman 37 underneath me somewhere, I believe, in a box. Uh, but it's not mine. Uh, John, yes, there is a new computer, mate. Hopefully, it's coming through uh, nice and clear for you guys. Stream's all good at the moment. Wow, amazing what an un internet upgrade and a new computer does, eh? Being able to run multiple cameras as well, finally. Right, so let's just get, let's just get these trousers painted up. He doesn't look particularly happy about having uh, red pants. Pants are not American red trousers. So what I like to do with these, I like to do all the sort of base colours first and then I'll go over afterwards and paint in. Um, go through and paint uh, the details afterwards. So he's got his red trousers on now. What colour should we go for uh, for the uh, his jumper, his top? Is it long sleeve? It's a long sleeve it's a shirt with a jumper on top I believe or is it a, no I think it's just a, I think it's just a rather large chap <laughs> but again if you guys want to get some figures 5% off with the code water road um, what color should we go for is it a bright red it's quite a it's quite a bright red yeah White, blue, green, blue, blue. I can't even say that, Pete. I don't know what the best way to pronounce that is. Uh, okay, everyone's going. Most people are saying blue, so we've got um, we've got <laughs> we've got BR blue. I just happen to have some uh, rail match paints uh, or a darker blue. So what should we go for? We can go for a light blue or a dark blue. Everyone's saying blue. Currently painting door handles on a Lima GV. Okay, darker. Dar okay, we'll go for the uh, darker blue then, which will be. Oh, I don't know why you can see it. That is actually a dark blue. I right, can assure you. Right, let's do the dark cam quickly while those two pass each other. This is a kind of dark denim blue. This one here. As you can see, the, uh, to anyone who's just joined, the yard has had a bit of a makeover. I've still got another couple of lines to add um, up there, if that's in line with it. Uh, that going to an engine shed. Um, but as I said, that will all be uh, next video's content. So we're going to go for this blue on his. Because it's a bit multicolored, isn't it? So after this, I can then paint in the, some of the skin details. It's just good to get these bolder colors out of the way.
He really doesn't look happy about this color scheme. Uh, nice graphics. Thank you very much, Flymo. Gareth, hello, mate. I didn't see you pop in. Uh, sorry if I did. I hope you're doing well. Um, John, I'll get the engine shed shortly. As you can see from the yard view, um, the engine shed, let me just show you quickly on that camera. The engine shed is going to go uh, here. So it comes in off this one here onto a single track here. Oh, the class 25 has left its uh, carriages behind. Hang on a second. Um, so that goes into a double slip here, and then a second double slip, one then goes into the yard, and then, uh, yeah, all good stuff. Someone said, sorry, I'm just catching up on the comments, didn't you say five cameras or six, Ollie? At the moment, so at the moment I've got that camera, I ignore that 25 going back because he's uh, made a mistake. Um, then I've got this camera. And then we've got desk camera and face only camera. So it's four cameras set up, one, two, yeah, four at the moment. Um, but I do want to get one or two more around the station. Um, how's the five inch gauge locomotives going? Uh, Lionel Lines, 2035, I did get my new, my new loco was dropped off today. Um, so more on that, more on the loco reveal in the future. Can't believe no one, um, no one noticed, was it? no one told me that the 25 left his wagon, is there a coach is behind? Keep an eye on that. Oh, hang on. I think I can see the issue. Is that front bogey? Oh, we have to remove that carriage. Something wrong with that. You know, they're not. They're not riding. They're not like riding. Even I don't know. All right. I can go down there for now. Hook that back up with that, and off he goes. Hopefully. No, oh, we didn't notice. Too busy thinking about colours. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sorry, I've, I've missed so many comments. Uh, you can have the blue man group. <laughs> so yeah, five inch gauge loco that arrived today. I will reveal more um, once I've done some work on it over the weekend. Um. Uh, what DCC controller do you have? The DR5000 with the Z21 app. Um, uh, where's my wagons? <laughs> uh, John, I would bet I to do that every time after the on the app. Well, I can't paint at the same time as doing that. I uh, bet he's got a uh, a clear path the whole way around. I can. I'll do. I'll do it once for you. How about that? Just as a as a one off. Just so I can prove it works. Um, sorry if I've missed anyone by the way the comments go in through a little bit a little bit quick right let's just set that back to green um, check out Peaks 47 latest video is that about the giveaway I was thinking about entering that in the diorama however um, there's a 99.9% .9 chance A I wouldn't win and because there's Maybe if they did a second and third prize, like even if it was like a pack, one pack of grass or something, I would probably maybe enter. But the fact is only one prize, and I know almost everybody on that page is more skillful than me. <coughs> <coughs> oh. What would we do that tango, eh? Right, back to painting. If you've got any more questions, guys, just drop them in the uh, chat. Let's go to... Uh, side just get him painted up in this blue quickly yeah 
Yeah, he really does not look happy about being this colour. Let's get under the armpits. His armpits, not my armpits. Not looking too bad. Just want to make sure we get all the tiny details under the arms, etc. A little bit there. Like I said, after with these block colours, it really doesn't matter if you get it uh, in the places you don't want it to be just yet. We have got 51 in Vega crowd tonight. I hope everybody's enjoying. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you are enjoying. Let's go to desk cam. I want to get a better camera for desk cam eventually. Um, but we now have <laughs> this chap in red and blue. So, what colour should we go for for his black cap? I think it's the next item. Well, actually, I'll do his face and then we'll decide a colour for his uh, black cap. I think that's all the blue done. Let me just double check. Quite is it? Is it? No, he's a wide chap, isn't he? He's been uh, he's been comfort eating during this uh, lockdown. I think. Look at that. Look at the side profile on that. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the streams. I do appreciate the thumbs up if you are. If you do enjoy. Uh, Bear Lane's in the chat I've just seen. Happy birthday. Everybody could wish uh, Bear Lane, Stephen, uh, a big happy birthday. I did drop him a text today. I'm imagining... I didn't think he'd be in tonight, actually. Otherwise, I would have put a, a banner or something up for him or have happy birthday playing in the background. But um, thank you very much for tuning in on your on your big day. Uh, Cameron, I don't know if I said... I'm sure I've said hello to you. Gus, good evening. In VW, funny catching a stream from UK in VW. What's VW? Almost right. Uh, exposing his Streamlabs deck. That's a stream deck. That's an Elgato stream deck, and it's a very good piece of kit. I'd highly recommend. Okay, so if everyone could wish, uh, everyone just, if you're a member, spam some emotes, um, and uh, everybody wish Stephen a very happy birthday. Uh, Larger and smaller. That's a good idea, Alfie. I might do. Let me just uh, get on with this figure first. Because I spent most of this time chatting. Um, let's go for some skin colours. Um, I can run the 08. Let me park. Well, I can't spend all night switching. Uh, uh, switching um, locos, but I'll stop the 25. I'll stop it just in here for now. Switch that. Not all this track's completely wired up yet, so it's going to have to be a, a bit of a hand of God moment. Let's bring the O8 over here. And I've got my homemade wagon on the back of it as well. Wait. Bear with me, guys. Let's switch to bridge cam. Right? See how that copes with that. Yes, yeah, so a very happy birthday, mate. 
hope you've uh, had a good day, considering the circumstances we're in. Right, so that 08 is now just going to uh, trundle around. Um, my birthday no yeah if you do have a birthday do let me know obviously if I'm streaming that is I'm not just gonna start up a stream on a Monday morning or something <laughs> right so now at the moment I'm just painting his face so bear with me a second while I do that Switch to yard cam actually. <laughs> Nothing too exciting at my age. <laughs> That's a good question, King Ori, actually, because we do actually have a name. Um, Gareth decided that uh, I got the 08 going past there. Uh, Gareth decided that this chap here wanted to be called Gareth. So he's now he's now Gareth. We've got Gareth, and then in the kiosk, we have kiosk Kev. Um, so that's the only two names of people we've got on the layout at the moment. Um. Have you ever thought about designing a plate layers hut for your next to your uh, for your next um, well Cameron Ashley if I drop the eBay link um, I've just uh, recently added um, a load more of the uh, station kiosks and then I have two pound two pound fifty for two I think there's six of them available six sets of two available on there at the moment and I did have some points on there but I think they're all sold. Um, yeah, go check that out if you wish. But the next item I think I've got is uh, next thing that I need to print is a uh, substation. Oh, and I've got the cab side. The cab. Uh, these are these are also available as well on eBay at the moment with the uh, open door, the relay cabs, uh, with the open door. Uh, Gareth, do you not want to be uh, sleeping on the floor? <laughs> Uh, Tim JD asks, has anyone heard about Chris? Um, well, he did go live Monday for about four seconds, or like 30 seconds, um, but his, um, his uh, mic was making that weird noise again, and he cut off, and I haven't, I haven't, heard, I haven't seen, seen him since. But I do hope he's all right. If you are lurking there, Chris, do uh, say hello or give us a sign. Give us a sign from wherever that you're still alive and well. So just now I'm painting up his hand. I actually really, really enjoy doing these little figures actually. Uh, thank you very much, Stephen. Nice. W oh, is that? I can't remember what that was about, but thank you. Uh, wouldn't we need two Daves? <laughs> um, let's go to. No. I want to. That's face over. We'll get there. Jenny says hi. Hello, Jenna. I hope you're doing well. I hopefully, see you down at the railway once uh, Boris lets us. So, already. This camera's really rubbish, but I've got to paint his left, his his right arm now into his pocket. Um, but it's coming on really nicely already. Actually, I've, I haven't found the need to prime these. Um, on some other figures I've done, like the Westhill Wagon one work ones I did, I ended up priming. But um, So I go really silent when I'm trying to concentrate. 
Oh, that needs to be red again. Sometimes I go over areas just a little bit too much, and then find I need to do a bit of touching up with the uh, different colours that I've used. Um, the points have gone there's J15 on Facebook sale for 85 at the minute it's very tempting Gareth I highly recommend mate if you look there's my J15 pulling um, wagons along those two flatbeds actually just got from AGR for a tenner each which I'm really really pleased with uh, you need to name one Angus <laughs> Charlie hello mate I don't know if I said hello to you uh, by GLR Besp no I haven't King Roy if you want to uh I did speak to Chris, he's fine. Okay, Steve, that's good. Do you know if he's coming back or not? Can you 3D print figures? Um, I can't. I've got a, res I've got a filament printer. Um, but I can, well, I do know people who do. And obviously, fine scale figures. Drop the uh, quick plug there. Um, does a brilliant selection of figures. And he updates the website almost daily, actually, with new figures. I've actually got a couple of figures that haven't been released yet as well here. I'm not sure where I'm going to use them. Um, but I've got a couple of uh, RNLI um, figures as well. New sample for either kit or symbol, which working arm, including bounce and lights. That's not bad. How much is a, uh, either kit or set? How much is it assembled? Um, for those wondering about the kiosks, um, the little station kiosks, got a few of them available. Um, and I've got, I think I've got two, or, either two or three left of the, the open door relay cabinets as well. He, he didn't, he did say why he's not streaming at the moment. It won't be right to give his, okay, Stephen, no worries. Are they going to be, yeah, Dapo Semaphore, for so, I mean, they're expensive, but like, they're good quality for what you get. I really like that. What do you guys think of the views, by the way, uh, of all the various camera views? Are they, are they okay? Got 53 in the house still, which is uh, really cool. Um, yeah, so I just need to get the red out again, just to touch up one little bit. So I'll do that and then we'll paint his hat, I think. Look at that already. Lights doing no favors, but um, little bits that make the scene. Thank you very much, Philo. Flymo, sorry. Uh, more tempted to buy brass signal kits. SJ Carter, good evening, mate. Thank you for tuning in. So that's all the skin details done, I think. I'm just going to touch up the red there a little bit. We are built to order so they can cover. Um, I really want a 5 inch gauge loco, as I said, um, the new loco has arrived, can't let you guys know what it is just yet though, um, hopefully be working on it this weekend, uh, Alan Reynolds, good evening Ollie, I hope that's correct, my name is uh, Ollie, I didn't say my name is Alan, yes my name is Ollie, thank you very much for tuning in Alan Reynolds, hope you're doing well, let's go to a quick yard camp, um, so Ollie when you're showing us this diesel loco that got delivered today, not yet, uh, it'll be in the next five inch gauge video. When that is, is uh, your guess is as good as mine. Right, so I've just got to get that little bit of detail. You need some, sometimes you need some really fine brushes. Oh, see, I've got it on the blue now. That's not bad to be fair, that's not bad. I'm just going to touch up a little bit of the blue quickly. Uh, please show us like a piece of the lot. I can't, <laughs> it's in the garage. I can't, I can't just go and remove a panel off it. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, love the views, water row. You, you'll have to do a walk around. 
Not for me, John, mate. Not for me. I've got a couple of bits sorted out. But, um... Who's Ollie? Good question, Pete. Uh, I bet you all it's a six. It's not a sixty-six. I oh, say so it is a D. Yeah, I think I did say it's a diesel earlier when you uh, said it. I can't. I said I can't afford steam. Unlike uh, John JMC, who's got a lovely four F, which we uh, showed. Cameron, it can't be a twenty-five. I've already had a twenty-five. Yeah, John, who's John JMC at the moment, is in the chat. Is the owner of a very nice four F. That I could only ever dream of owning. Maybe with my uh, retirement money when I'm older. Just checking I'm happy with that overall. Thirty seven, seventy three, twenty five, big or small, four F rules. The only thing I'll agree to there is the four F rules. Uh, sorry I'm late, what did I miss? Um not much really. Depends what, what you consider worth missing, I guess. I was gonna Right, so, that's all the body colours done now. I really like a better camera for close-ups of, of figures. No, nope, doesn't want to work. Um, so, decide what colour is flat caps going to be next. As you can see, there's the couple I've done uh, before. Drop the uh, link in again. It's great having this uh, stream deck. It does it all for you. You missed Ollie painting. I'm still, I'm still painting. Still painting. Uh, the bully light Pacifics would be my favourite if I had limited money. I'd love to. Seven. Yeah, thing is though, like I know a lot of people have said they'd like to get seven and a quarter that I've spoken to, but it's where do you run it? Like not many people really do seven and a quarter. But five inch gauge seems to be the most uh, common. Um, what colour should we go for for the is uh, flat cap and shoes? Green flat cap. I'm definitely gonna. That's the first one I've seen. So we'll go for that. Um, let's go for an army green. Uh, what make of paints are you using? Now I was recommended these by a friend. These are the Citadel colours. I've got some enamel ones, but I've got about 20 odd now of these and that these Citadel ones and they paint on so well. I can't express how good how good they are. So much so I'm slowly sort of converting all my paintings, all my painting bits um, to Citadel paints. Uh, if any of my, uh, actually I don't even know what the link is. Uh, So we're going to go for a green flat cap. That's a, what, Fred Dibner vibes? Is that chat? The old green flat cap? Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Easily likes our ride. I don't, where is that? Because it doesn't sound near me. Or what? We could go um, Lido scale. But again, I don't think they'd just let you sort of zoom around on that. Once lockdown is over, though, the chap who runs the uh, Rasip Lider Railway did uh, promise me a cab ride uh, in one of their locos for a video, which would be really cool. Although, when lockdown ends, who, who knows, really? And then a little matchstick or something to uh Oh thank you to who um bought a couple of bits on eBay, I really appreciate that. I'll drop the eBay link in again. 
Do we need the four F's emoji? Uh, Donate is isn't it? No one has got, ever gotten the spam out of West of, out of a West Country. Must have missed a conversation there. Um, yeah, four F emoji. That would be quite good actually. We need a couple more members though to unlock the next emote. So if you do feel like becoming a member, now is the time. Oh, this green's starting to run out as well. That's the thing with those City Dale paints as well. They never seem to run out. Um, from what I've been told, they last a very long time. But these enamel paints dry up so quickly. It's just a nightmare. Now I'm literally working on your kiosk. Now, well, Matty, don't forget. Uh, uh, send me photos and things. I really do enjoy seeing what people have ended up um, doing with them. Right, so uh, let's switch that to bridge. And of course, anyone who becomes a channel member, their name will go in the credits of the next video, which I'm hoping it's either going to be a layout update or a five inch gauge update, depending on what I can get around to doing first. But since moving into my own place, life has been uh, chaotic. Busy, busy, busy. Plus trying to build a railway and pay the bills he's, he actually quite suits this uh well look at that this oh let's switch it to something that's actually good do you think the camera angles are right then they looking okay as i say when i've got some more cameras set up some better quality ones i like to do one uh in the station uh, as well you have them painted oh brilliant well, um, yeah, just drop me a, a mention on Twitter or something, or Discord. Gotta be super careful with this guy's hat, otherwise he's gonna end up having a a green ear. Paint the mini me. Okay, Leo, look forward to seeing that. The best one I think I've seen so far was um, uh, oh, was it uh, Moreland Andy, I believe, or somebody uh, painted me in a Stoke City strip, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. Um, loving the camera angles, Ollie. Thank you very much, Slow Line. That's very nice of you to say. Link to website. Thank you very much, Gareth. Gareth, there's the uh, link to the paints. Just currently sweeping some green paint out of his uh, ear. So let's go to this cam. We now have, I'll pop pictures of this by the way on uh, Instagram and Facebook afterwards uh, to see a better detailed version of what he looks like at the moment. So that's his head, face, arms, everything done. All that's left now is to paint his shoes. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. Um, and then uh, we can take him off the stand and paint his shoes. I believe. Uh, what I'll do is I'll bring that. Um, actually, I have. Bear with me a second. Press that button, press that, press that. Probably hear all the points. Oh, is that? Hello? Yes, it did. And then we want to drop that signal oh, on the left of it. Whack on some lights. Uh, so 
got the DMU running around for a little bit. Uh, Cameron, not OK, I imagine it would be extremely pricey. Uh, do you use enamel or acrylic paints, Ollie? Well, I tend to use, I was using enamel paints, all of these various, uh, oh, I realise I'm not on that camera, all these various enamel paints, but I have actually now switched to um, Citadel, and I'm going to stay with them, I think, for figures anyway, because I think they're absolutely brilliant. They dry really nice as well. Thank you very much, Alan. It's very kind of you to say. Um, Tim says, I could have had a paint it Ollie by now. But I've asked Westy Wagon Works a hundred times for the O gauge printed ones and they keep being busy. But I do have a double O gauge one here. Why does YouTube keep deleting my messages? I have no idea West London Rail. I've not really seen you talking too much. Let me just check. I've uh, been less active this school lately as I feel I have nothing to talk about. There's always things to talk about with uh, railways. Um, can you send the Discord server? Um, could one of the uh, mods send the Discord server link, please? If uh, any of the, my mods are in here, actually, I might be able to do it. Hang on. Just clicking on things normally. Uh, uh, Water Road. There's the Discord link in there, by the way. Right. I've not got that link yet. Oh, sorry, Flymer. Flymer's very good for links, actually. It's Flymer and Gaff, but if I haven't given them the link, then I... Uh, but yeah, the link's in there now for the Discord. Actually, I can just... I've deleted... I think I've deleted that now. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm not on live chat either. I'm on top chat. Oh dear, I've just messed things up now. I wouldn't mind a key. Oh, God, the messages are, are really all over. Um, West London, I've had the issue in comments, but not a live chat. Well, hopefully um, it's all working good still. We're still all, all live and well. As I say, as you can see from that shot there, um, the scenery on the right-hand side needs some serious work. Uh, they did they did used to be a, um, probably, where where is it? Uh, where my hand, in line where my hand and finger is, there used to be a siding there with the double slip, but I've taken it out now to add um, a scenic side to that anyway before it goes to the viaduct and then the tunnel. spending them are we still we talk about the q1 also guys we need to decide i think we said it was the black five what we're going to go for next to the old donation goal um i'm sure it was the black i think we voted black five someone can remind me i'm sure we voted on something last week so let's go to best cam so we have this chap here he's got his hat on Got his multicolored clothes, obviously got um, dressed in the dark. Uh, no Eric tonight, no idea where he is. Oh, he's in, he's talking in WhatsApp group chat, but uh, no idea where he is beside that. Been trains again, but my tracks are currently blocked due to construction work. Um, but yeah, funny looking chap. He just needs some boots now, but to paint his shoes, we've obviously got to take him. And the thing with these Citydale paints as well, dry already and not sticky either let's just uh, delicately get him off there sorry about that mate um, I don't believe we voted for that I'm sure we went for um, black five something or other yeah, Stevens is definitely black five okay I think I'm sure it, well, I'm sure it was black five I've got a Hornby black five it's also how much do they retail for and that's what we'll probably set the um, uh, budget too.
There he is. Now, look, speak of the devil, John, and he shall appear. Let's, uh, let's entice Eric in with some camera views as well. Here's a view of nothing happening. Yeah, we definitely voted for Black Five. All right. Um, right, let's just change that donations total then. We want next loco. Let's change that to Black Five. Um, someone give me a rough price about 130. Okay, we'll go. We'll go 130. We'll set that to zero. So now, actually, if I put it on, maybe if I bear with me, guys. Let's try. I oh, can kind of see it there. Uh, yeah, my chat is being very temperamental. My chat's very yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what YouTube's up to with the. It's been like this for the last few months now. Lovely, Eric. Thanks for that. Some things I don't want to think about. I uh, just said, no, Eric, and then you came in. Eric doth appear. Um, yeah, my chat's being very temperamental. Get it out the freezer. <laughs> so, yeah, Eric, if you just tuned in, we've got some new views now. These are not permanent. Um... These are just kind of rough ideas I want. So we've got that yard picture with a slightly new uh, track plan that we're, I'm working on. Um, huge thanks to Richard, by the way, if you're watching, for coming up with that track plan. Um, then we've got bridge view there. We have desk view there. Face cam here. That's doing sort some graphics out. And then the end titles. If I go there. Turn that off for now. Um, I've also got all the links sorted out now. On the if I go to desk cam, uh, I've now got all the functions that's down here sorted out as well. So I can just press uh, that button, and that'll drop a link into the chat with a discount code for fine scale figures. You very kindly sent me this absolute pile of figures to uh, give away some and uh, other bits and bobs. Let's move this out to one side. Um, King Ori, that we that we can decide once we get anywhere near the total. But um, as we've just got the J94, uh, we've gone back to zero. So it could be a little bit while. Uh, something wrong with YouTube at the moment. Uh, deletes comments and puts crappy short videos in recommended that we don't want to watch. <laughs> Hopefully it's none of mine. <laughs> yeah, Eric, um, it was Western Wagon Works when I first went... Uh, when I first spoke to them about anything over a year ago, I think it was, um, they said stream decks like the best thing you can get for streaming, and they couldn't be more correct. Crossways, hello mate. I hope you're doing well. Oh, that's got more of a range where it could be from. That's ignoring the shed play and number. Oh, quick yard view. I do quite like this yard view actually, but once the ceilings are done on that right hand side, it might might be a bit more of a game changer. Plus, once they've got the uh, shed at the very back there uh, sorted out uh, let me show you that quickly actually now I can't take any of the credit at all for this because it's an absolute work of art um, but John Gay for the cost of the postage sent me this kit built oh, kit built um, three lane engine shed and that's going to sit roughly I don't know how well you can see it just a little bit further back from here I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. Yeah, just behind where, just in front of where that crane is, and that's on two, that's in front of two double slips, and then I have the end pieces here as well, and then all the extra detailing stuff to uh, post. Yes, huge thanks to John for that. Absolutely superb kit, and also actually something I wanted to show you guys, like I came over here and remembered. Now, if you know AGR Mono Railway Store, uh, Eric, I was going to, um, I was going to, but we've worked our way to fit it into a three with it still having space on the. I moved that out of the way. Oh wait, that's still going. Hang on, but it's still having space over here, 
Oh, you can't see my mouse anyway, but to the left there's there's still space there. Got my little uh, my little scene over there on the left hand side looking quite nice actually with all the lights. Really, really pleased with that. I'm so glad I kept that bit actually. Um, what make you send my four signals? Those send my four signals. Defo. Again from AGR. Your parcel will be in the post. Oh, Gareth, yeah, I was going to message you about that. I, I said when I was talking to you on WhatsApp, and I thought, I'm sure we're missing something here. Now I remember, I, you, I don't think you posted it, but yeah, thank you. Whenever, um, whenever, mate. Uh, Tim says to be fair, I think camera would be the best thing to do streaming. Then everything. Oh yeah, obviously you need a camera. You can't really do much before that. Um, but yeah, the stream deck, stream deck is, I think, it's brilliant anyway, because it means I don't have to keep clicking on the mouse and keyboard as much. Um, yes, Tim. Someone said something about RO gauge. If, if Tim's going back to RO gauge, yes, Tim, you definitely need to do RO gauge. There's no, there's no and if or buts. You need to do some more RO gauge, double O gauge. Um, yeah, what was I? So. AGR gets some sometimes buys um, second-hand collections and stuff in in big bulk, and just in one of the boxes, I, I think these were made, these are these are a German make. He had these two bulb um, floodlights in double O in, in double O gauge. These two, and I think these are going to look absolutely superb in a steam yard shining over. And you can change the orientation, the angle of them. Absolutely brilliant, and he gave me them for five pound each. And I'm I wish I wish he had more of them now because I would I would have bought more. But I think they're absolutely smashing. Um, uh, doesn't feel as hot as that. I think that previous computer I had as well was was um was a uh, heating was was uh, acting as a heater as well. But this has got way more fans in it now, and it's absolutely silent. Uh, it's just a fine size of the figure box in the. Thank you very much, Flymo. There is the link, and if you use Water Road, you get five percent five percent off every figure. Damn, how did I not see Eric? I went round there the moment he had it, and I made an event inventory on my phone of everything I wanted, and those were the two first things that I pulled out, and I'm very pleased with them. So they're gonna sit over in the engine shed. I've also got an inspection, two inspection pits over there as well, with uh, flickering welders lights in as well. That will run off the DR four hundred one eight. Yeah, Eric, I did see them hoppers in there. Then when I went to go collect my stuff, all that box was empty, so I'd assumed you'd had a rummage around. Uh, what do you use to record? I use Streamlabs OBS, the Stream Deck. I have uh, HD Logitech, two of them, 1080s, which is the my face cam and the camera you've got here at the moment. I've then got, which are quite good value, actually, the this one here. I need to play around with this. Session, but it's called a Ted Gem Cam, this one and the Yard. And um, they're about 15, 20 pounds on Amazon. Uh, and they're they're very good. They re they really are quite good for for the value. Um, no worries, Kev. Thank you for popping in. Still got forty nine in. If you are enjoying, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Uh, means a lot. Uh, I mean, the light towers at what would per uh, mine? And they were mighty tall, strong. Yeah, the idea is that these light up. I think evening stars off. Uh, Evan Terry's off. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm not sure who's coming or going now, but if you're staying, then stay. <laughs> if you're going, then don't feel that you have to stick around. Right, shoes. What are we going for with this chap's uh, shoes? No, on camera. I'll get this right eventually. I like my transition. What was it, Eric? You told me in the group chat? I think it was... Um, oh, I can't remember the acronym, but it was for go on Google and search for it yourself. <laughs> um... What colour should we go for for this chap's shoes? I think that's what we'll do next. I'm not off for saying bye to someone. <laughs> okay. If you're saying goodbye, make sure you put the name after us, then I know it's not just you leaving and I'm saying goodbye to everybody. Yellow shoes. Are we really going to go there? There we go, Eric. That, that back to you. Uh, I'm not going. Get that man some sleep. <laughs> no, I'm going to go for yellow because that was what was putting in first. I've got two choices in city. I might go for the bright yellow actually as we're going. I've got slightly more uh, burnt colour, sort of sunset colour. Now I've got to go for yellow. That was the first comment I've seen. He's got a lovely blue jumper, green hat. He's like a. Look at that. What a mess. He definitely woke up on the uh, wrong side of the bed. Got dressed in the dark. 
So all of you are suggesting sensible colours, but Fred got in there first with yellow, so I'm going to go for that. And then he needs a name, so if you guys can agree on a name. Fred could look quite snazzy with his little yellow shoes, actually. He's, perhaps he's off on a, on a date. Put on his best pair of shoes. Like I said guys, Water Road, 5% off every figure you buy. Not a bad little deal considering how good these are. And then you grab yourself some paints and a paintbrush uh, and give it a go. I probably won't go back now, but I can always tell. So yeah, Eric, I'll get that link for you, don't worry about it, yeah. I'll sort you out. <laughs> no Cameron, I'm afraid it's not. I'll also drop a link to the eBay as well if you want to go grab yourself. Or we'll be listing some more uh, track pieces on there as well that I've got left over. Mm. Okay, painting this guy's shoes is a bit tricky. He's doing a, he's doing the Rabona. Here's what he said. <laughs> David comes back with the old uh, Eric supposedly reporting someone on the West Coast main line. It's up to you guys whether you want to believe it or not. Windows PC worker. <laughs> Porter, that's a good name. Ken. <laughs> I tell you, the brush isn't a bad loco to be fair, Cameron. And yet, I still laugh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Flymo. So I don't really need the automated keys, Flymo's, Flymo's doing all the links for me anyway. Very much appreciated mate, thank you for doing that. So now, <laughs> look how bright those shoes are. Drivers will see him coming off a, a mile off. Uh, Costs more, I don't know, and I also don't care. I have, a, I have an idea of who it is, but um, I don't care. But if you are enjoying, feel free to hit the thumbs up. That goes a, a long way. So I think I just need to touch up a little bit of the red now because his shoes went a little bit manic there. So we're just going to. Oh, I just realised. Um, there you go. Very fluorescent feet, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Russon. I don't feel like that's like a teacher's name or something you've got and you've got something against it. Uh, it's Eric. In that case, Dave, I will come and return the favour if you if you wish me to. Um, I've actually only disliked, I think, about two, three videos in my entire time on YouTube. I've just found if I don't like it, I um, stop watching. Uh, where's the red? Uh, Ollie, your 10% off at West Hill Wagon Works is still active. And, oh, yeah, could you drop that much, uh, West Junction? I need to add that to the links as well. I do have ten percent. Oh, actually, I've got a good. I just put all these links, and I've got a good with Scenic discount link for either ten or fifteen percent. West Hill Wagon Works for ten percent. I've got a Trackside Signs one, and I've got a couple of others as well. Uh, what's the code for Western Wagon Works? Oh, uh, West, uh, West London, hopefully that doesn't fall into that. Hopefully this doesn't fall into that category. I apologise if it does. Right, so this chap's now got some very nice new shoes. Let's rest him somewhere. 
for him to dry. Uh, I only dislike that vegan teacher. Who's that? I don't know any vegan teachers, sorry. National, it's the nouns of the group. National organizer of un, underappreciated and scared. <laughs> Um, John, thank you for tuning in, mate. Uh, yes, we will catch up soon. Keep me updated with how your layout's coming on as well. I know you've been working on a couple of builds. Oh, did you get the building as well? Has that arrived yet? I sent it out with Herms. Um, let me know if that came in one piece. I did, like, ultra pack it, so I hope, so. I hope it came all right. Um, let me just check the... I'll drop my eBay link as well. Let's just do a bit of self promo. Um, let me find West Hill Wagon Works discount code. Bear with me, guys. Oh. It's on here somewhere, hang on. I want to find it, because if you want to use it, then that will get you some money off for sure. I should really make the discount codes all the same thing, but... Um, uh, oh, here we go, hang on. No, that didn't work. Uh, J5, J36 and the LS, LBS SC will be one. Um, off to watch SpaceX launch. Thank you Eric for tuning in, I appreciate it. Enjoy the launch. Uh, now I did have a discount code. I should really save these things, shouldn't I? Bear with me guys. I think I'm getting closer to it. Rainbow. Man, cool now. Uh, there's a 10% reason I have it to get asking for more. Very true, Cameron. Oh, yeah, Mike, it might have been. Um, I just want to... Oh, here we go. Got it. In capitals, Walder Road 10. There we go. Take a screenshot of that so I don't forget. I have to go back through the conversation. Um, Water Road 10. Oh, yeah. Lowercase or uppercase. Thank you very much, uh, March West Junction. Um, who's the vegan teacher? Oh, guys. Okay, uh, there's 10% discount code for magazine. Yeah, but Cosmo, I'm also in their magazine advert for the last Hornby magazine that came out. So, um,. Can't complain there. Still got 50 in. I should have, I don't have a short key for the um, West Hill Wagon Works, but I do have one for the five scale figures who very kindly sponsored tonight's stream. Good evening, Jerry. Hope you're doing well. But we have got a few fine scale figures here. We might actually, should we just give away one now? Should we just do a little uh, a giveaway one now? We've got a chap um, looking at his watch. Oh. Um, we could give that away now. He did give me some of these to give away and some to paint. So I've got two of them. So it only makes sense to uh, give one away. Let's uh, pre pack it as well so I don't damage it. Cameron, no idea, uh, a lot I imagine, but they did that out of their kindness of their heart, own heart. The goodness of the, whatever the phrase is. So, for the chap here, and we'll even chuck in a train crash, uh, train crash models toolkit, which goes on the side of the Rustin, uh, as featured 
the side there. We'll give away one of them in there as well. We'll do both of them. We're going to do our favourite, pick a number between 1 and 50. Now I'm going to write a number down where well, you can't see it on here. Alright, I've written a number down, just scratch it on the side of that. Uh, first person to guess it, between 1 and 50, uh, wins this. And I'm doing it based on how I see it come up here, by the way, so... Um, I apologise if your message comes through before or after someone else. I'm doing it based on that. And while you guys are guessing numbers, I'm just going to spam all my links in there again. And keep an eye out on the chat. Oh wow, Sarah Rob. Stop, 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 stop. Sarah Rob. I've never seen your name before. I don't think. But the number's 47. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Who guessed 89? It was between 1 and 50. <laughs> the number was 47 and we had it 1, 2, 3. Oh no, wait. 1, 2, 4. Fourth guess in. Normally we're going for a lot. Oh, Don Eagle Dad's a bit late with 47. Uh, Angels also said 47 very late. But, um, was it Sarah? Sarah Rob, if you could uh, send me an email on MalderRoadContact at gmail.com uh, and I'll get this posted out to you tomorrow. Jesus, that was quick. I've never I haven't seen anyone with those reactions. Lee said 23 twice. <laughs> 3.14. No, Anthony, it's not pi. Evan, a little bit late now to say 47. But, um,. I typed eight, then I typed nine. <laughs> uh, if, if someone could, one of the mods could put my uh, email address in there as well, that'd be great. Let's go back to uh, Bridge Camp. So in this stream, we obviously I, it take, I do it a little bit quicker when I'm not talking to everyone, but we've now painted up this chap here. Oh, unlucky Tim. I think everyone's keyboard. Look, everyone, oh, Matt got it as well. Would you believe that? What's the chances of that, eh? Just after I had announced who'd won. Suddenly there's lots of 47s. <laughs> well, as I say, I will try and do a giveaway every stream of some kind. Um, I think next week we'll give away some of the trackside sign stuff. Like I said eBay link if you want to grab yourself some 3D printed bits. There will be linking some stuff on there later on, listing some stuff. So if you save it as a seller, um, if you save it as a seller, then you can, uh, what's the phrase? See it when it comes up in the eBay feed. I didn't know eBay had an actual seller's feed, which is pretty cool. Uh, just 20 seconds. Of, basically, the number guessing is just 20 seconds of frantic keyboards slapping. <laughs> Thank you, J94, for tuning in. Uh, much appreciated. Shall we get the uh, 25 running once more before we uh, before we call it a day? They've just aborted SpaceX. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, so I say Rob. If you're emailing me on Water Road Contact at gmail.com, Cam Cameron, I've bought a few things via Facebook links you post. Oh, thank you very much, Sarah. Well, if you drop me an email, Sarah. Um, I shall, oh dear, oh dear, who's let Cameron, Cameron in late to the party? Oh dear, oh dear, he's watching a minute behind. Everyone tell Cameron to stop. <laughs> oh dear. Let's right, speed that DMU up. Much delay, that's an understatement. See how, let's get this DMU going a little bit pace actually. See if the cameras can hack it. And King Orr has been called off, is it? Oh dear. Should we get the uh, J15 with sound as well for a couple of laps? Do 
Is that? Isn't that? Pete, have you sent me a, a message? Um, right, let's get to 25. Like that, and then do that. Engine fired, but aborted. It even took off. Oh, before oh before it even took off. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. Just for you. Bit of a. Uh... J15 sound. Watching the replay. Pure Beck Valley Model Railway. <laughs> That's a nice little shot there, those two going over the uh, bridge. Oh, I can even do the signals for you as well now, actually, for those who are... Uh... There we go. It's 10 minutes on my other account. No worries, pure bit. While you're on your other account, feel free to hit the old thumbs up button. I know I'm being a spoiler. <laughs> it's different flying, but when everyone's guessing at the same time, but someone's just put a... Uh, For those controlling the trains, they use the DR5000 and the Z21 app. Oh. Pete, um, anything you've ordered up to, anything that anyone's ordered up to in the last two days has been posted uh, second class. I put it in the priority box, so it might have got there a little bit quicker. Thank you very much, the Evening Stars. Very kind of you. Did your um, did the poster get to you all right? The um, scale model scene stuff, scale model scenery stuff. Should we get this? Uh, Get this J15 going a little bit faster. Well, I don't know how fast it would normally go with um, with uh, all these flatbeds behind it. Well, imagine seeing the station and that comes flying past you. Brilliant evening, Star. Let me know how you get on with that. No worries at all. How are we doing on the old, uh, hang on a second, let's have a look. Still on the old YouTube. If you guys did enjoy, um, next week, I won't be live Wednesday, I'll be live Friday night, I believe. Because uh, I'm working next Wednesday, unfortunately, so I won't be able to um, live stream that but we will do some more giveaways on that Friday as well and paint up some more of these figures. As you can see, he's, he's dried already now if I switch the... Uh, actually, let's just do that bridge while those two roll over. Pure Beck, uh, the postage was for the Mini Me's if you're not a channel member. Um, but the giveaways, I pay for the postage. It doesn't make sense to give something away and then ask for the postage. Unless you're very far away internationally. Go to death count. What? Who is it? Oh. Hi. Hi. Good. Yeah, evening star Wardle Fridays. It's a good name. Um, so as you can see, we've done. The, I did this figure. Is one I did earlier. And that was the first one I attempted. Again, with no. Um, that one was actually uh, painted with some matte varnish to finish it. For some reason it's come out shiny. Uh, but yeah, that one doesn't. 
over to Anton working on that Ollie figures. Cheers, we'll see most of you. Yeah, see you later, Anthony. And then we've got this chap here who's had a woeful day in the wardrobe. Uh, is now multicolored. Evan, if you can't do Friday, I normally, depending on how well the streams do, I might leave it up afterwards for a few days. I think once that yard is um, done, I'll try and finish the track work this weekend. The shiny silk suit, exactly fly. It was meant to be matte, but it came out shiny for some reason. Uh, so I've ordered some matte spray uh, instead. What about Water Week, a daily hour long live stream? Cameron, I would, but I don't think anyone would be in Mr. Yellow Shoes. That's a funny thing. I don't think anyone would be interested in an hour every single day. Um, but yeah, once I've done the yard uh, track work and everything, we can get some actual streams of just doing some shunting and whatever guys you want to see, whatever you guys want to see. I might do it over the weekend then. It'll be some point Friday, Saturday or Sunday next week. And uh, we'll get on with some giveaways. So I think I'm going to end the stream there. Don't forget guys to check out Fine Scale Figures. Huge thanks to them for sending me over some figures to paint up. Um, oh, okay. Fine Scale Models just became a Channel Road supporter. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Has it come up on the... Mr. Wooden, maybe one of them. Well, and maybe the um, RNLI guy. That'd be a, a cool name. Thank you very much, Fine Scale Models, for becoming a member. But yes, like I said, I will be live either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday next week. Uh, don't forget to check out Fine Scale Figures. Um, there's my eBay link. There's um, my. Oh. There's my member link. And there is my... Oh, Benton Road. Sorry, mate. You are very, very, very late. <laughs> and there is my uh, Facebook. Don't forget, huge happy birthday to Stephen Price. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, hopefully everybody liked the new setup. I'll try and get some better cameras. Um, and everyone enjoyed watching me and helping me choose the colours for this chap here. I'll get some photos of him on my social media platforms later. Once again, huge thank you to everybody for watching. I've really, I really enjoyed this stream, actually. It's been a lot of fun. So I will see you all next week. Um, but as I say, keep an eye out for the next couple of videos because there's going to be some good ones. So I will see you all uh, in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. I'll leave you with a quick shot of the bridge. The 9 coming over. There's the 25 just passing over. I'm so sorry, fine scale models. You are a little bit late to the party. Benton, when, as soon as I get around to printing them off, as I say, I need to get some photo paper because I don't really like doing things on actual paper kits. I'd much rather it be photographic paper that I can reinforce. Sarah, don't forget to drop me an email because you won today's prize. And I will see all of you next week oh yeah thank you for becoming a member as well uh fine scale models very very kind of you stay safe and see you next time